And we're back in the game with some more Napoleon Total War, playing as Napoleon on his little Egyptian excursion early on in his career. Now, we've been pushing back the uh, Marmadukes. There's a small force there which we defeated in the last episode and which we're going to chase off. Assuming that we can chase them off or destroy them, we'll use this you, uh, force to garrison at Zagazig, which we just recently captured. Um, we are rebuilding that. We're out of money, pretty much. We should have about 2,000 coming in. We suffered a fair amount of casualties over here, and probably going to have to leave our dragoons behind. Maybe take about three turns to replenish and then try pushing out. The uh, Ottomans have now sent a force down. But if we can push these forces back, we can start drawing down our garrison troops. We have back here in these settlements. Actually, do we need... yeah, we do in fact need all of those. How's our infrastructure looking? It's built up. Uh, that could do upgrading. Yeah, that's built up. Yeah, they're not that happy there either. Whereas they are very happy. You're happy and you know it. Show it. Alright. We could in fact have another naval invasion by the British. You never know about that. Right, but down south, I think, I think, therefore I am, that we're going to be able to push out from Cairo very, very soon. The only concern here is that we're going to go for this settlement and we have Marmadukes on this side of the uh, Nile. So I'd really like to get rid of those. So what's that? About nine units total. And we could... We just take this force we could probably take this settlement and that's more than enough to defend I think as our research going okay we're actually gonna finish something in this turn ah the Marmadukes are moving around uh, we have the opportunity to intercept them but I'm trying to save this unit yeah, they have raided us. We've been raided. We have national debt. Oh, money's actually going down. That research should have actually helped out. Okay, you're still not happy. We may have to upgrade something like that. Right, I want to get you back in there. How many units did we get? Those are... Uh, where are they? They're at Cairo. Uh, it gives the name of the province, not the actual settlement. Right. So, what are you researching now? You're going after public schooling. That helps out a little bit. But what about national census? I think we'll go for national census instead. Do we have any more agents? But two gentlemen there. Yep, that's all that we've got. I wonder, do they have... They do. They have a general. Let's try to assassinate him. We have a very good chance. And we did. We got him. So we can see what's in their army now. And I'm going to bring you... All the way over here, so we can see what's in the Ottoman force. Palestinian auxiliaries, pretty good unit. Samat Janissaries, melee infantry, and Delhi horsemen. Okay, the Delhi horsemen in Napoleon do not have firearms. They do in Empire Total War. Hmm, interesting. 
All right. So how much did they replenish? I think about five men. Most of the infantry are going to be replenished. Yeah, so that's not that bad. I wonder if this force is enough to take out all of them. I believe it is. Okay. In that case, we are going to push on to Fayoum. I do not know what is in Fayoum, except for the fact that there's an oasis there. Ah, uh, a rather large amount of enemy forces. Armed populace, fire locked armed citizenry, you do have some care. However, there's also an army of Bedouins. Now, don't tell me that's an entire army of camel warriors. Which it could be. You never know. We may have bitten off more than we can chew, as the proverbial saying goes. Uh, where are these Bedouins coming from? Okay, Bedouin capital. Region capital. Our lad, Ali. There's also... Is that... No. That belongs to the Mamluks. Is that part of this territory? No, that's part of that one, isn't it? So I think the Bedouins only have one area. Right. So we need to capture this one, this one. Minya and Benny Seif. And then we will free up this army, assuming it actually survives. Alright. Let us get in here with this force, which is depleted. Try to clear out these units. Okay. I think we can have a. Ooh, that was a quick jump. Into the loading screen. It's only three units, so it should be fairly quick. Some cavalry would have helped out. I think we need to recruit a couple more cavalry units. Go ahead and unlimber. Alright, everybody move forward. Actually, let's have you. Go ahead and do that. No, don't target their artillery. We can always get a unit in there. Go ahead and bent charge them. This way, we should still have a clear line of sight onto their units. And be able to fire at them along their flanks. Well, we killed one man from there. Yeah, they're actually getting up. They're going to be able to, oh yeah, start firing right away. If they come down here, we'll canister shot them to pieces. Alright, where are you going? Let's turn those units around. You have lost your morale somewhat. There's only eight men there. Yeah, you're going to get hit from the flank very, very soon. Go ahead and fire on them. They're going to be out of canister range, aren't they? Yep, those have uh, broken. And you haven't taken them out. You haven't taken out the artillery. Quite. Oh, there's one man in there. Alright. 
now you've taken them out they may reform suppose we could stop them from reforming by continuing to shoot at them hmm All right. they're just within range you are not it's a very small unit Yep, they did in fact reform. Alright, come on around there. Now they're going to be within canister range. Yay! Continue. See if we can get one more shot off. Nope. Oh. Alright. As we don't have any cavalry to chase them down. So it goes. Alright. And immediately we're going to continue to chase them so we can take out this force as well. Now what do we do with this small force? Do we send it over to relieve Napoleon so he can push out or do we send it down to Cairo so we can push out with their garrison to help out uh, General Desai? That's the question. Alright. They're going to be within range. Now, where are their reinforcements coming from? Probably from directly behind, I would imagine. But we don't know for certain. They have not shown up yet. Come along, show up, so I know where to go. Oh, we managed to kill one of them. There. All the way... out there. Alright, well, we'll send... this force. A few of them. There should be four units, right? Split this force up so we can try flanking them. Are they going to try pulling back to their reinforcements? They're not quite within range. I'd much rather try targeting them. We need some better artillery. Some eight pounders. I mean, we could start firing there. They are coming within range slowly. Right, so they're pulling back. They suffered a fair amount of casualties from the artillery.
Yeah, we actually managed to knock a good few over there. They'll probably all get up. I don't think we killed anyone. Alright, so they are finally within range. We should be decimated pretty quickly. That's something that the Romans did decimation. Uh, very tough punishment for major breaches in discipline where an entire unit would be punished. Yeah, we still haven't killed anyone, but uh, definitely knocking them down. We only have one chevron on this artillery. I would have considered that we should have had more at this point, because most of our artillery has been doing quite a lot of work. Let's go ahead and move them up. Now what, let's have them walking. I don't want them getting tired out. And in fact, I don't even want you going that far. Right. You probably don't need to go that far. Why is your morale so low? You haven't lost anyone. They're gonna just sit out of range. Shouldn't they have another unit? Well, they somehow managed to hide it. I could have sworn they had four units coming in. That was from their first force, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm only seeing three from there. Or did they have a unit of artillery? Okay, you're steady, you're fresh, you're encouraged superior local force, and yet your morale is rather low. You are militia, militia, militia. You're line infantry. Okay, line infantry, fusiliers of the line, fusiliers, and line infantry. Alright. Ah, there they are. You do have the a unit. And in fact, let's have you go there, run now. Gonna have you spread out a little more. Because they're gonna be within range. Right. They're now within range. We pulled all the way back there. And your morale has just dropped rather low. You should be firing because they're only peasant levy. Right. That's a good position to fire. Where is our artillery? Yep. Very good line of sight there. Right, how are you doing over here? Your morale is low and you suffered a good amount of casualties. Now they're coming back. Alright. They are just out of range. It's rather annoying. You're not in combat. Need to change that. They're just on the edge of your range.
This one looks like it's going to be a little tougher. Right, you need to move up. It's taking four of our units just to deal with one of theirs. Well, you've gained another chevron. They're coming in for a melee. Uh, risk of friendly fire there. That's what it looks like. Not sure if we're going to have much of a force left after this one. Yep, how's the melee going there? So great. You now what? Let's go ahead and fire. Alright, I'm going to send you into melee as well. Uh, and this is our line infantry, they're not doing very well. I think we need to get rid of this unit. I'm concerned we're not going to win. They've got a lot more men than we do. Yep, a lot more. Even though they're just peasant levy. Alright, fire over there. Oh uh, no, we've lost those units. We are not going to have enough forces to go and help out Napoleon. We may lose this entire force, in fact. Our men are running for yeah. Well, the artillery might be able to win it for us. That's what it's going to come down to, isn't it? Blasting away of our canister shots. Trying to break their units. Their peasant levy did really well. I mean, we broke them easily in that first battle. I thought we were going to... Break them fairly easily in this one. Alright, let's just speed it up. We're going to lose this unit fairly soon. Not inflicting very many casualties. Yep, there goes that infantry. Now everyone is going to push on against our artillery. At which point we'll switch over to canister and hopefully decimate them. They're not moving that quickly, are they? They were smart there to flank us. 
Come on, come within range of my canister. Who's going to be first in range? Right, 58 men there. Probably more important to break that one. Almost in range. No, I want you firing at this one. No, fire at this one. There you go. Come on. You're having trouble firing at the whole unit. Firing at that flank. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Yeah. It'd be a shame to lose our artillery, because we don't have too much. Their morale's down. Ah, broken, broken. Quickly switch over. One volley might break this unit. Down to 11 men. We're only manning two guns now. I believe it's five men to a gun. Come on. Fire. Down to eight men. Yeah, it's only one gun active, which isn't even firing. Up oh, there you go. Uh, end. Yeah, that was uh, disappointing there. And nobody survived. Yeah, that's uh, a disaster. Alright, well, I'm going to be making about 3,000. Turn. We're still replenishing here. Right. They don't have enough to go after these settlements, I don't think. We should get a unit or two to help out. Alright. Artillery. If we don't get the artillery, how much is the cavalry? 696. Six. Yeah, that's not going to make a difference. Alright. And that's all she wrote for this episode. So, start the next episode. I fully expect either this army to push out against uh, General Desay. Or this one to come in and help. We need to clear up some of these units. Maybe try to push out along this side of the Nile. But we shall see. We shall see.